The Toyota Camry has always been about getting from point A to point B reliably. So, when Toyota tried to make the new Camry sporty, it's like a parent trying to be that awkward cool dad. Hi, I'm George Kennedy for CarGurus, and as crossovers and SUVs become more and more popular, automakers are left trying to keep their sedans hip and relevant. For the 2018 Camry, Toyota went for a sporty persona and some bold styling choices. On the LE and XLE trims, the grille looks like part of a Kylo Ren mask, but if you move up to the SE or XSE, it gets a lot better. Massive vents and an upper grille that seems to float separately from the rest of the front end do paint a questionable picture up close, but if you take a step back and observe things from a distance, the design of the Camry comes together. With its 19-inch alloy wheels and painted this color, which Toyota calls Blue Streak, our XSE looks almost sexy, but then you look out back and see the faux rear diffuser and quad exhaust tips and you almost have to laugh. That's like an accountant getting a face tattoo. It just doesn't match the personality. Inside, the Camry features a gorgeous cabin layout, but it seems the designers at Toyota must have forgotten about the concept of form following function. I've already received complaints about knees knocking against this pillar on the right side of the center console. Trims for the 2018 Camry are L, LE, SE, XSE, and XLE. The L trim comes with remote keyless entry, Bluetooth hands-free calling, and a USB port. Move up to the LE and you also get 17-inch alloy wheels, a power driver's seat, an anti-theft system, and a 60-40 split-fold rear seat. The SE adds the unique front end design also found on the XSE, 18-inch black finished wheels, a rear spoiler, automatic climate control, and Softex Sport front seats. XSE Camrys start there and add dual zone climate control, a trio of USB ports, a head-up display, and a large 7-inch color information display between the gauges. Finally, the range-topping XLE gets full LED headlights, a bright metallic front grille, leather trim steering wheel, and upgraded interior trim. Most models come with a 7-inch touchscreen that comes with a host of apps, as well as Bluetooth connectivity, Siri Eyes Free, and Google Voice Control for Android users. But here's the thing, no Apple CarPlay and no Android Auto. Some automakers don't offer these apps at the moment, but at least plan to in future models. With the Camry and other Toyota models, the company has no future plans to include these popular tech features. So, if you're an Apple or Android Power user, the absence of CarPlay or Android Auto could be a deal breaker. Move up to the XLE V6 or our XSE test model and you get the larger 8-inch touchscreen. It features easy to read fonts and icons and pinch to zoom for maps. And if you get lost in the menus, you always have helpful buttons on the side of the screen to navigate. The base engine in the 2018 Camry is a 2.5-liter four-cylinder, which makes a rather impressive 203 horsepower. If you opt for the XSE, output increases to 206 horsepower. A 301 horsepower 3.5 liter V6 is available on the XSE and XLE. Power from either engine is sent to the front wheels through an 8-speed automatic transmission featuring a manual shift mode. It's important to note that Honda has ditched the V6 with the new Accord in favor of a turbocharged four-cylinder. So, if you want V6 power, the Accord is no longer an option. Some will prefer the ample power of a V6, but the four-cylinder in our test model pulls surprisingly well. Of course, if fuel economy is a priority, the four-cylinder Camry returns an EPA-estimated 29 miles per gallon city, 41 highway, and 34 combined, whereas the V6 returns less at 22 city, 32 highway, and 26 combined. But what's more important to you, the ample power of the V6 or the better fuel economy of the four-cylinder? Let us know in the comments. The Camry is actually great to drive. There's positive steering feedback, it's level and cornering, and the acceleration from the four-cylinder is surprisingly strong. If you're used to driving a performance car, 
the Camry, incredibly, will not disappoint. MSRP for the 2018 Toyota Camry is $23,495 for an L trim, but that won't come out until the fall. So for now, the least expensive trim is the LE, which starts at $24,000. An SE trim starts at $25,200. One XLE starts at $28,450, and an XSC starts at $29,000. Our XSE model came with the driver assist package, which includes a 360-degree camera, parking sensors, and a JBL premium audio system. With all the options, a range-topping XSE V6 can clock in at more than $37,000. We have to ask ourselves, who is this car really for? A true enthusiast might go out and buy a base model BMW 3 Series or Lexus IS, and the average consumer might appreciate the driving dynamics and looks, but just as likely, they might not even notice or even care. For all its performance, the Toyota Camry will always exist in a segment full of conveyances. The rest is just window dressing. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more video reviews. Comment if you think that Toyota went too far down the performance path with the new Camry. And to read my full review on the 2018 Toyota Camry, go to cargurus.com.